Tardamella, comic book artist and former lead designer of McFarlane Toys. And today I'm reviewing a couple of McFarlane Dragons. Uh, these guys are pretty old. I'd say maybe about 20 years old. Um, but yeah, uh, going through some old stuff. And uh, yeah, I came across these again in uh, one of my big bins. And I wanted to uh, do a quick review on this guy. Well, these two guys. Um, and again, really, really cool pieces. So uh, I don't remember the name of all of them or what series they're from. He might be from the second series or the third one. And this is a part of the Water or Dragon Clan, I believe. Because um, he does have like, you know, he's like a dragon cross with like a fish or, you know, salamander or something along those lines. Um, but uh, really, really cool. Love the details on these things. Um, yeah, uh, and again, McFarlane's been... I think he did like, I want to say maybe six or seven series of dragon figures. Um, I know there's even a couple of new ones coming out now. Then I'm not too wowed by them. I don't like the designs, but these are really cool. And uh, yeah, so I, th I thought I'd give you a, a nice rundown of them. You could see this guy is uh, all made out of like translucent plastic. Uh, and then they put paint on top of him. Um, even his base is translucent. And I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, yeah, look at the beautiful details. The paint applications are out of this world. Uh, gorgeous. Love how they did it. You know, the greens, the teals, uh, kind of like gold accents, uh, like where the spikes are. Uh, yeah, you can see how translucent he actually is. So yeah, you can even put a light underneath him if you want, into the base. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. And there's, there's simple little uh, plugs for his hands, basically, and you just line them up and put them on. Um, I, I think these guys are very hard to find now, but um, you might get lucky. There's, there's some, I don't know, maybe some old comic shops might have them sitting around. They haven't sold for a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, shop around, take a look. But uh, I got to say, yeah, these are really cool. I love the work that was put into them. Uh, and here's the other one. I think he's part of the Ryder clan because he has like a little, he's got a little um, um, like medieval dude in armor uh, sitting on top of him. But I dig this one too. Again, uh, the kind of diorama, diorama um, base that he has with the pole. Uh, very, very cool. You could spin him in any direction you want. Um, yeah, this, this one's really nice. He's got real chains hanging from his face. Uh, so that's really cool and, you know, kind of leads back to the uh, uh, little soldier on top on his back. Um, but yeah, and again, amazing paint application. Uh, these guys look incredible. Put them on a shelf anywhere and people would be like, wow, that's cool. You know, so and that was kind of the idea behind these guys, you know, to have something that's uh, for the fantasy type fan and, and people who love like all that type of stuff. Um, you know, medieval things, uh, wizards and dragons and, you know, uh, the fantasy realm basically. Uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And again, like I said, paint applications are to perfection on this guy. Um, the one thing I will say, oh wait, yeah, there, there's a nice shot of the little rider on top and he's even in a nice dynamic pose. So that's cool. And you can see all the gold chains kind of hanging from him. So that's really, really nice. You know, uh, yeah, the one downside is because this guy is so old, the plastic on like the trees feel slightly sticky. So uh, that's the plastic kind of leaching out a bit. Um, that's going to happen with older figures, you know, um, and you got to be careful with some of these guys too. You might have some weak joints depending on the type of figure. He's kind of skinny and long, so he might have more issues. Uh, luckily, there was nothing too bad with this guy. Um, but from day one, his wings weren't always the easiest to kind of put on. Um, he has slight uh, articulation. So if you want to kind of get him in a slightly different pose, you could do it, but not by much. Uh, he does have a bendy wire in the tail, although I wasn't really going to move that around. Um, but yeah, you could see like how easily the wing came off. 
but you could angle it a little bit too. So if, if you want to change the positioning of the wings a bit, you could. So it's all up to you. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think these guys are a beautiful set. Um, I know I think I have at least one more. No, scratch that. I think I have about three more dragons. Because uh, there's a couple other ones I thought looked really good. But when I come across them, maybe I'll do a quick a little review for you guys on those as well. But uh, yeah, these two beautiful, beautiful figures. I do give them um, a big thumbs up. If you're able to snatch them somewhere, check online, eBay or something, you might get lucky. But, you know, all in all, uh, again, awesome, awesome designs. This was back when they were still doing things in-house. Uh, outsourcing to China, you could see how much the quality has dropped in a lot of his figures. Um, they're kind of inching it back up, but, you know, it is what it is. But either way, thank you for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe. All right, for anyone looking for some amazing comic books, uh, this is part of my collection. I am the artist and creator of Shadow of the Kraken. This is a beautiful pirate story, 52 pages, beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, everything you need out of a great pirate story, you're right here. We have City of Venus. It's a futuristic story, also another one that I totally created. Um, beautiful, if you love uh, kind of post-apocalyptic worlds, beautiful women, uh, sci-fi, action. This has a little bit of everything in it. So if you're looking for that, um, on that campaign, you could also get for a limited time, uh, volume one and two of my art books. These are loaded with amazing images, 52 pages each. Uh, yeah, they got pretty much everything you need in there. And we have, of course, hardcover book. This is Through the Woods. Um co-created and written by Frankie Tartamella, my brother. And uh, yeah, I did all the artwork. This is 100 pages. You get the entire story in here, uh, beginning, middle, end. You get all of it, and it is truly amazing. So uh, if you're looking for a, a great ghost story, uh, this is definitely the book for you. Just click the link in the descriptions, and uh, yeah, these books ship immediately.